This is St. Lads reporting live from Howard Projects in Brownsville. When you see these other YouTubers dissing me, just ask them one question. Do y'all come outside? They claim Brownsville, but are they comfortable in Brownsville? When's the last time they walked on some Brownsville grass? That's all I wanna know, man. When's the last time one of my competitors shot a basketball in a Brownsville hoop? I know when's the last time I shot one in a Brownsville hoop at nighttime. <laughs> Let me stop being childish. Yo, I came to court for the bro Shasha. Sha. You feel what I'm saying? I've been here since 9.30 this morning. I sat through 66 people getting seen by the judge. And this dude lawyer, Shasha's Sha lawyer, didn't show up again. Y'all holding this dude on Rikers Island for 44 months, 500 days over his speedy trial deadline. Begging for our freedom. Well, I got rings around my wrist from being cuffed up so much, like I'm a slave. My eyes cost me bronze, they bloodshot from pepper spray and lack of sleep. Yo, if we act like animals, they won't keep treating us like animals and keep us cuffed up, sprayed, starved, in cages. And then make those who are in position to help us refuse to help us, like Congress members, senators, council members, and assembly members. Yesterday was disgusting. I was a nasty, gnat infested, piss saturated bull bears from 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. at night. But my lawyer again didn't show up or call the court to let them know he wasn't going to show up. And the court clerk can't file a new court date. He ordered me to be taken back in the alley until my lawyer called. He called at 5 p.m. to get my case adjourned until January 23rd. Now, last, I must say, all these lames that be calling you fake or fraud or even people who are supposed to love me and support me or be down for me, where were they to support me yesterday? You were there. You showed up. People from my union showed up. Yo, just for you showing up to solidify that you was a real dude, that your world is flat, and you stick to the principles that you live by. And uh, I make it through this, you gotta calm down to me forever. Now with that said, these people took another Christmas and New Year's from me, another Christmas and New Year's from my family and, that they gotta bring in without me. And it, my case is a lot deeper than I first expressed. First, the cop who arrested me, Detective Christopher Jennings, he got 30, he got 23 lawsuits pending against him for false arrest. I don't know how he's still a part of the force. Most of them were settled. My power investigator is getting 75 hours an hour for nothing. Because I then told my lawyer to send him to go to certain businesses I frequented on the day of this alleged crime and obtain the balance footage. But he never did. And when family members finally did it, it was too late. Because these businesses only keep surveillance videos for up to 30 to 60 days. He never interviewed any of my alibi witnesses or the alleged victims. My attorney never pursued witness tampering and witness intimidation charges against the New York uh, County District Attorney's Office. When they raided Kendra's home in Massachusetts, you know, a woman who I was engaged to at the time, and this is a house I've never even been to. They destroyed the house, cuffed her, put it in the back of a police car, in the pajamas for six hours. First, they said they were looking for my co-defendant, saying this phone pinged in our house. And then they said it didn't find him or his phone. Then they said they were looking for a gun. They found nothing. And yet they put holes in the walls and the ceilings and all for a crime that happened in New York. They went to Massachusetts. And six months later, they went back to her crib, showed her pictures of me and another chick to try to stop her from coming to court to testify against me. When that didn't work, they threatened her and all my other alibi witnesses. The discovery law has been in effect. Yeah, my lawyer isn't pushing for dismissal on these grounds. And when I bring it up, the judge brushes off so the certificate of clients is not proper where I never received 11 body cameras or the so-called video that they said me and my co-defendant in entering and exiting these people's apartment. I got over 500 days past the speedy trial deadline. So this case is supposed to have been dismissed. The DA's office made a fake letter to housing in an effort to get my mom's evicted, stating I was convicted of committing a robbery on housing grounds. So family members had to join my mom, who is 70, and utilize a wheelchair, take her to housing court to fight this lie, because I haven't even went to trial yet. It's the third time back to back my attorney didn't show up in court. And I paid this man. To address other things, I'm from Broadway. My right 
right hand man was a Boricua named Sammy Fuentes, aka Sammy Sunshine. He was murdered, rest in peace. My other right hand man is a Dominican named Albert Loreano, aka Mundo. He was DMX road manager. Now he's stuck in the Dominican Republic and no longer allowed in the US because he knows some legal troubles, whatever. But I say that to say, I'm from Broadway. Dominicans from the Heights call me Broadway shop. But my Boricua Dominican brothers from Broadway and Glamstam, I got bread with it and roll with y'all since I was born. So why when I come to the island, I'm mistaken for a gang member and why I'm getting it on. I don't have it in me to refuse a housing unit. I go where I'm sent and whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Lately, it's been dudes from my own hood. I've had to put hands on the defense. I rolled with Caballo and Junior up top for years. I remember when Caballo, Caballo got extradited and sent back to the Dominican Republic and got murdered. My Crips, I hold hard with Louis Rosado, AKA Blue Boy, Sight White, Shadow, Blue Magic, West, Nuts from Santana Block, Singers. My Bloods, Frank White, Off, Ty Guns, Pee Wee, Jab, Soul B, Low Rider, Ungambino, Hot Boy. Yo, I'm still that same dude that's still strong in the trenches with you. So I should not have to defend myself against any gang. I was in Attica on the Fast Snatch King Blood. I grew up with Manuel Lugo, AKA Super. Even Rat Hunters, I was in Wendy's with T45 when he died. I'm still that same dude, I'm shy shy. I'm disgusted that there's over eight gang wars going on over bullshit. Y'all should get together, get, get the bag, make the bag bigger. Focus on fighting your cases that are get, and, and get home and maintaining the black family. If we all in jail, we leaving our women to be lanes out of society. So our kids, they being raised by single mothers. I would give my right eye to have been there for my daughter and her moms. But it's so hard out there, it's even harder raising a child alone. We, we risking catching new charges in here by getting in the bullshit over bullshit. So then we have to fight a new charge when we read the original case we got locked up for. I was here for the whole pandemic. I wake up every day choking out my sleep from pepper spray because it went down somewhere in the building. You know, I'm in, I'm part of industrial workers of the World Union, the Revolution Abolition Movement, Incarcerated Workers Organization Committee, the Eyes on You Movement. These people from all walks of life, every sex and gender, they don't discriminate. They stick together and fight together instead of fighting against each other. I don't see why these gangs who most of the same hood can't do the same fucking thing. Why y'all cool and get money in the streets, come to jail and start cutting and stab each other? A lot of us can't even get to the library because a, a gang fight popped off somewhere. I know some people took losses, people died, certain beefs can't be scarred. But when you come to jail, your only enemy should be the people who are trying to put you away forever. So in here, that we supposed to be stacking for Lloyd and the bill and begging for our freedom. So I got rings around my wrist from being cuffed up so much, like I'm a slave. My eyes constantly brown and bloodshot from pepper straight and lack of sleep. Yo, if we act like animals, they gonna keep treating us like animals and keep us cuffed up, sprayed, starved, in cages. And then make those who are in position to help us refuse to help us, like Congress members, senators, council members, and assembly members, who could force these judges to abide by the laws these politicians got enacted, like the new discovery law and the constitutional right to a speedy trial. And when these laws are violated, the remedy is release and dismissal of all charges. I'm like, yo, the judge in my case is Manhattan Supreme Court Judge Curtis Farber. The DA in Manhattan is Alvin Bragg. I make a complaint to the administrative judge of New York County and them, the chief judge of the Southern District Federal Court, Judge Lower Taylor Swain. I mean, you know, let them know about the injustice I'm suffering. Help me get out so we can help others. This is your last. Yo, you got the video of the next victims smoking fresh packs of cigarettes and using their own phones while talking to the police. So what cigarettes and phones was they really booked for or wrong for? I mean, it's crazy. Yo, know, even if witnesses are subpoenaed in court, they don't have to come. And it's taken, and if they're taken into custody immediately, they can say they want to consult the attorney. And they have to give them an attorney before they're questioned any further or bring them to the court to testify. Most witnesses don't know or forget they have a right to remain silent and evoke their Fifth Amendment on like any questions. And it, it can't be arrested and charged with anything. It's only it's only situations where the people they're lying on file charges for them filing false charges. But I, I'm not pursuing that. 
Police tell people they'll be charged for filing false arrests or false charges, not realize the only person they lie on can press charges against them for this. So anyone being subpoenaed or forced to court on anyone should ask for a lawyer and invoke their Fifth Amendment immediately before they rather than destroy somebody's life over, over a fucking lie. Per, you know, a person's life, if get somebody convicted for some shit you lying about is wrong, man. Police and the DAs, they don't like to be proven wrong. So they go hard to make bullshit stick. So my advice is to request a lawyer whenever y'all dealing with the police. Always invoke your right to remain silent. And there's nothing to go to DA's all over the state you don't want to press charges. You want to drop the charges. They can't do nothing to you for this. The police can't press charges, only you can. And you also have the power to drop the charges. I was shot before a fund in 26 briefs. Police witnessed the shooting. But because I refused to cooperate or even make a statement, there's nothing they could do to this dude. They had to let him go. Check this out. This is even deeper. My brother was with this dude when he got killed on 25th Street in 1990, December 15th. Police brought this dude in to view a lineup of the dudes who killed my brother. Now, he was armed and ran when the shooting started. Left my brother to die. He knew who did it. But he refused to point them dudes out. But this same piece of shit killed a man. Then testified and said, I did it, and I blew trial. He was a childhood friend. He, we slept in each other's houses, ate at each other's mother's tables. He's been free with people still chill with him, vibe with him, break bread with him, hustle with him. And to this day, I never said a word about it. I could have, I could have did him filthy when I was offered that deal. But just, to, or just for the principal him running on my brother, leaving my brother there, but I stuck my guns and held strong to principles I was raised by. Now, were, were the people in this case against me allow the police and the DA's office to make them follow through with this garbage that they know is not true? I mean, I'm not facing a one of three. I'm facing forever. It's been 45 months with no bail. When is enough is enough? And I ask like this shit, when is enough is enough? Like, I've been strong through this whole shit, through the pandemic, through everything in here, the riots, the race wars, the gang wars, the police abuse, in and out the block. When is enough is enough? Like, I don't understand. What's your, what's your take on this? I stood through 66 people that saw the judge that was on that docket. Wow. And out of them, out of 66 motherfuckers, one of them was white. Quick side note, man. Even that white dude, I heard them mumble something about immigration and deportation. So he could have just been a Latin dude that looked kind of white. You feel me? So that's why on the other video, I said I ain't see no white dude. So that dude was questionable. But I mean, he might have been white. You feel me? The rest was blacks and Hispanics. So it's like yesterday that shit just re-snapped me back into reality to say like, yo, bro, it's a multi-billion dollar business locking up people of color, my nigga. It's a multi-million dollar, billion dollar business. And the sad thing about it is sometimes a motherfucker loses his entire life to the penitentiary in that multi-billion dollar scheme. One inmate creates like nine jobs. The police to arrest you, the, the judge to rule over the case, the court clerk to schedule for court, the court snogger for the court, everything is being set in court, a lawyer, a DA, the, uh, you got the court officers, then you got medical when you come to Rock Island to give you a physical, you got the correctional officers, the man you while you in here, you got transportation division to drive you back and forth to court. That's 10 jobs for one inmate. So this shit is big business. And they know that. That's why they waive your right to the grand jury. Just so you come through to make the city money. Man, the whole, the whole system make money off of black blood, man. You heard the, the police department make money in overtime arresting us. The court system make money in overtime judging us and seeing what they going to do with us. And then the motherfucking people who own them private prisons and own these penitentiaries and work in these penitentiaries, they make money off of us. So it's just slavery. It's just slavery, it's bro. Dudes, it's, it's dudes that's been in here for homicide that went home already and I'm still here. I'm still here. And I don't even have, this, nobody even got punched in the eye in this case. Nobody even got threatened. Like, 
semi final, guys in final, whether they like this shit is crazy. Shit is fictitious. And still they dragging it and both my lawyer and my court of his lawyer just never gave me in court with no explanation and he's not picking up the phone. I've been calling him crazy all day. He's not picking up the phone. And this is a paid attorney. I don't understand, that's why I said You Dude, have one minute left. Everybody, man. Yo, please contact assembly members, council members, congress members, I mean, senators, people in a position to help to put pressure on this judge to abide by the laws that they enacted and put and put in there. The legislature passed these laws for a reason, but these judges are not honoring these laws. If they're honoring these laws, a lot of us would have been home. The majority of them have passed a speedy trial deadline. They're not honoring that. They're not giving up discovery. They're still holding on to discovery. They violate the discovery laws. I don't it's crazy, man. Twelve cops show up, there's eleven body cameras, we get one. It's just ridiculous, man. I you know, I can't call it, man. I don't know, man. This shit is this shit I'm gonna get migraines over this shit. I I'm still sore just from being cuffed up all day. Ass cheeks hurt from sitting down on hard ass bullpen benches. This shit is oh, this shit is torture, man. And Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. At New York City Department of Correction. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored for law enforcement purposes. If you are an attorney, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number by going to www.nyc.gov slash d o c you. Yeah, I'm scared to call my mother and let her know my next court date is January 23rd, but I gotta let her know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call later on, like, so I, I'm scared to call my daughter and let her know, I just think she gonna break down and cry, that she gonna fuck me up, man. People was expecting to see me home for Christmas, man, now, come on, it's getting this for January 23rd, it's a whole month and change away, man. And we've been past this deadline for, for everything, and they're not honoring it. They're supposed to dismiss this case. Even you say, even the judge say, yo, where's the lawyer that? Why he ain't filed a motion for dismissal? The judge start talking like that. I mean, come on, this judge supposed to stand up and just dismiss it when he see me not getting no representation. And I'm not even getting to the court where I can speak my piece. You said so that law, You said your lawyer called at 5 o'clock? Called at 5. Because the, um, the court officers called and, and they called him from the bullpen and he was like, yo, next court day is going to be January 5th and he's not going to be called. He said, so call the court clerk and let them know because they got the man still in the bullpen. He said, all right. So then when he called the bell, the bell, he said, yo, you know, it's so lawyer, court day is January 5th. He said, no, it's not. Court day is January 23rd. We just got to go from lawyer. I said, what time is it? He was like, yo, 5, 15, 5, 10. I was like, what? So all day long, he just had me in the bullpen and never, he could have been called knowing he's not going to come. All I do is call and call you, I'm not going to be there. And then send me right back to Hollywood. where I ain't got to sit in them bullpens all day. Yeah, man, that shit torture, man, sitting in them goddamn bullpens all day. Yeah, all day. All it was torture shit, just man. sitting in the courtroom all day. Yeah, just sitting I'm in the courtroom. Bro. Nigga, I told you I was re I was ready to cop out to something just to get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> Real talk. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, how many human beings y'all niggas got locked up? Yeah, that shit is crazy, man. Shit just don't never end. Like, that shit crazy, yeah, now, bro. Yo, this, this incident on Allen, like, I've been getting it on. Because, yo, I don't refuse no house. I'm going to go where they send me. When I get there, I shouldn't have to get it on with my own people, man. Like, real shit. I know this not, this not a new generation. They might not know me because, you know, I've been 28 years of time. But still, I'm I'm black. I'm, I'm your own. Why oppress me or try to violate me or try to dictate to me your jailhouse rules and all this bullshit? Are like, you seriously? They're they not letting do with Jewish phones and all kind of like, I'm not. If no real man is going for that, I'm going to fight. It's going down. We not, it's not happening. Fuck. No, we're like, you like, yo, you can go in your shower at this time. I'm punching you in your mouth. It's going down. We're not, no, you're not, they ain't no shit like that to me. Hell no, I don't walk the halls of Alec and Clinton. I'm not going to come down in the alley and, and, and to come, to come and, and submit to this bullshit. You're out your mind. It's not going to happen. I'm worried. 
if we get money and we, and we good in the town, it should be the same thing in here. I'm not saying person, but a lot of know me, a lot of their big brothers and big homies or big whatever you call them, they know me. And do a background check. I'm a real dude, man. Don't treat me like a bozo or a fiend or that shit is crazy, man. Oh, you got a 21 year old coming to you and tell you, yo, listen, man, don't touch the phone. I'm punching your head off, man. Get the fuck out of here. That shit is crazy. Let a nigga call his family, call his lawyer. You should you never know. You might be fucking up a plug for you. Somebody that can help you get a lawyer or plug you into a chick or something. So those be blocking their blessings with that bullshit. I would I wouldn't be able I wouldn't be able to stomach none of that shit, man. I don't know. That's why I make the mind crazy. That's why I, that's why that pit that shit is a trap off, bro, cause there's a new charge around every corner. And then it's like I know certain dudes from the town. I'm like, yo, why didn't you step in before I had to get it on? Yo, you know, this is my bro. Motherfucker, you know me from the town. Why the fuck are you know me from the town? You come here and be soft? Like you was flocking niggas in the town down here, you ass from this one to you really? Bro, niggas coming here, your only fight should be with the courts, huh? Not with each other, man. That shit's crazy. Yo. I, 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 I couldn't even get to a business the other day because it was a riding hallway. Like, come on, that shit is crazy. Remember, Shorty told you she thought I refused a visit. I didn't refuse a visit. Yeah, you said you couldn't get to the you couldn't get to the video visit because it was a riot? Yeah, because there's no escorts when it's a shit like that. And all the escorts got to report to that shit, whatever's going down. You have one minute left. By the time that shit is over, the visit is over. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Oh, that shit is crazy. And they were like, yo, well, you know, reschedule, reschedule. How the fuck? This is a headache, my nigga, man. All my hours do the same time tomorrow, like 11, chop it up, whatever. All right, bro. You know we gonna keep pray, feeding them I'll streets. I'm them songs every day. I'm stay focused, man. I pray people step up and do something, but this is ridiculous. Like how this dude's the body that then went to trial and went home already. Like how? Oh, yeah, man. Forty-five bucks, man. This shit is crazy, man. Hey, yo, check it. If you got a clothing line, an Instagram page, some music, a video, a song, or whatever it is you trying to promote. And you need that organic promotion that's guaranteed to get seen by thousands of people in one week. Text this number. 347-300-3000.